Hello and welcome to Regrow Tech India. I'm your host, Ture Naya, bringing to you yet another episode on the Java Beginners interview series. So, today we are going to do one of the most or very important question, if not most important question, using the wire loops. Now, this question is the basis of a lot of questions that comes in the while loop concept. So please uh, be sure to look at this pro uh, video properly and understand each and everything. Okay, so let's go on the screen and look at our question. Now, the program says that we need to print the sum of all digits in a number. Let me first explain what do we mean by that. So here, let's say if your number is 576, then you have to get the sum of 5 plus 7 plus 6, which is 6 plus 7 will be 13, 13 plus 5 will be uh, about 18. So that should be your resultant answer. If you give uh, the input as 576, you should be getting the answer as 80. Okay. Now, this is what we need to write using program. So, for this program and for every uh, other program where we need to get the digits of a number, we will be using the following code. Let us first understand the code, see how it is written and then look at the dry run. So let's go on Eclipse. Here we go. So here we start by taking a number. So let's say for this particular program, I want to take a small number so that we can understand what will be the result. So I'm going to take in n equals 1, 2, 3. And the first thing we will do is start a while loop. This can be done with other uh, loops, but while loop is uh, much, much uh, used everywhere actually. So we'll start with while n is greater than 0. While n is greater than 0, then int ld, which stands for last digit, equals to n mod 10. So what this is going to do is, it will basically divide 10. So 123 divided by 10, the remainder is going to be 3. So it will give us 3. Next time if we do with 12, it will give you 12. Then 1, it will give you 1, right? So we need basically two parts. And then n equals to n divided by 10. Okay, this is two very important parts needed. Now let's first understand this and then we will get on with the rest of the items. So let us go on the whiteboard to understand what we just wrote. See, so what we wrote is we simply took a number in n equals 123 or 25. Let's go. So basically what happens is when we start a while loop, n is greater than 0, then we are saying that in ld equals n mod 10. Now, if you see, if I divide 125 by 10, I'll go 1 times, 2 times, 120, and that will give me a remainder of 5. Isn't it? So, when I divide n by 10, I will get 5. Okay? So, this is 5, the first time it will give me. Then, what if, imagine this, if I divide 12, by 10, I will get 10 ones are 10 and I will get a remainder of 2. So, I can get 2. 5 and 2 both are there in one of the digits of the number. Then, if I divide 1 by 10, so 1, 0, 10 zeros are 0 and the remainder is 1. So, if I, this is also something that I, I want. Okay. So, the thing is, if I divide 125 by 10, I am getting 5. If I divide 12 by 1, I'm getting 12, 12 by 10, I'm getting 2 and so on. So basically, once we divide n by 10, we need to change the value of n. And how do we change it? We will say n equals to n divided by 10. Mind you, they're all integer numbers. So there is nothing to do with decimal points. There will be no decimal points in our integer numbers. Okay. So what will happen is, 
Now see, uh, let me erase this division and all. Okay. So see, basically, we will start off by saying that, okay, uh, n is 25. So n will become 125. Okay. By it, n is greater than 0. n is greater than 0. It is greater than 0. Yes, it is. Then ld will be n mod 10. So n mod 10, we will get 5. Okay. So 5 is there. Now n is equal to n divided by 10. So if I divide 125 by 10, so I'll get 12. And my remainder will be 5. I don't want remainder. I will only get this. So this will come in n 12. Okay. Now again it will go back. This is the end. It will go back here again. It will check. By n is greater than 0, 12 is greater than 0. Yes, it is. Then again, n mod 10. So now it will do 12 mod 10. Meaning 12 divided by 10, the remainder is going to be 2. Right? Then we will have n divided by 10. Now 12 divided by 10 will give you 1. You can check here also. 12 divided by 10. So 10 ones are 10. And the quotient is 1. So 12 will give you 1. So now, if you check here again, it will go back on the top and you will have, uh, it will go inside the while loop, it will check LD, N mod 10. So 1 mod 10 will give you 1. Okay. So let me erase this chart. So now, basically, we want the sum of digits, right? So we want the sum of LD values. 5 plus 2 plus 1, right? So we will get 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 1, 8. This is basically what we want. LD values. So just in the middle, we will write sum equals to sum plus LD to get the sum of digits. Okay? Um, I have already told you without the sum, all we are getting is simple digits. And once we have gotten the digits, we now can take out the sum. And that's basically your program, right? Now, let's test our theory in uh, the Eclipse. So, here we are. We have already written all of this. Let us go ahead and print LD first so as for you to see what is happening on LD. So, the first time you'll get 3, then 2, and then 1. Okay? Let's run it. We got 3, 2, 1. Now, we don't want that. We actually want some. So, we'll take a sum here, int sum equals 0 and then here we will write sum equals sum plus ld. Okay. And last but certainly not the least, we will have to print the sum. So, we will say sum of digits. plus sum. Now, check this out. The answer should be 6. Okay. Let us understand this as well. So, if at all I write this, so what will happen is, uh, this far we have already understood the dry run. We just need to include sum. So, the first time when LD was 5, sum will be 0 plus 5, which is 5. Okay. Then, next time when LD is 2, then sum is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So, sum will become 7. And then the last time when LD is 1, sum will become 7 plus 1, 8. And that's how the sum we will get here as 8. Mind you, our value was 125. There, the value was 123. Uh, that is why there we are getting 6 and here we are getting 125. I hope um, you understood how to get different digits in a number. That is very, very important to get out different digits in a number. And once you get out different digits, you can do multiple things on it. right? So this is something that we will be learning about in a lot of uh, questions on my loop in our next few videos. As for now, 
Um, I hope you have understood this program. And if you did not, please go back again and check out the part where we are discussing about the uh, dry run of the program. Once that is sorted, you can go on with the rest of the uh, videos that you will find after this. If you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe. Have a great day ahead.